Hi there, another quick tip from intoedu.com. Here we are thinking about Google Forms and looking at how a form might be set up to restrict access, uh, restrict access in terms of viewing it, but being able to maybe turn it on and off again. So if, say for instance, for a test situation where you're wanting to put this out, um, allow it uh, to be used as a test, but then turned off so it can't be viewed again by another class before it arrives. So here we have a form. So the first and quickest way to do anything in this area is I'll just quickly create a first question. Say so my first question is uh, classes. So I'm clicking in what class they're in. Um, and option one. And you can see that if I just uh, click on the preview of the form, and I can see the form and its question, and obviously I could be looking at any answers or questions. However, obviously, if I, however, if I click on the responses tab and say I'm not accepting any more responses to this form, when I click on the preview to have a look at it, it pops up and says that. This is the area here that a person trying to view it would see. Um, only editors can see this particular link, and I'm obviously the editor of this form. The other method to use, going back to questions, is to use sections and have your first section as a password section. So this is the section tool. Uh, I want to insert a new section, so I'm doing that. So I've added another section. So this would be where my test is. And this section now is going to become a password question. So instead of multiple choice, I'm going to make that a short answer. And over here, I'm going to say that this is definitely required and I'm going to choose a response validation. So in here, I'm going to change the text there to sleepy. <coughs> I'm going to make that required, as I said, um, and that's pretty much all I have to do. Obviously, every time I do this, I'd need to keep changing the password in terms of access to this form. So possibly the first option, turning responses on and off, might be slightly quicker. But we'll go through this one now. So we'll now go through this one here. Check that uh, we've got the responses turned on now, because for this option you don't need to have the responses turned off necessarily. Uh, we'll go to the preview section, and it asks for the password. So if I type in sleepy spelt correctly, incorrect password, now obviously, as I said before, you need to keep changing the password because this doesn't put in um, mask what you're writing with a series of dots, for instance, but makes it um, makes it easy to see the password, but you've given it out to all the kids anyway, so just keep changing it. When you go next, if it's been correct, then you get into the test questions and away you go. So that was thinking about restricting access, either by turning off responses or having a password. Hi there, another quick tip from intoedu.com.